Of course, um, the, the Sakyas are very proud of themselves to be the followers of the uh, four uh, Losawas. You know, so four Losawas. They, we say that we are follower, followers of four Losawas. I think Mal Losawa, Losawa Rinchen Sangpo II, and then uh, two other I don't remember. Anyway, there are four. Uh, of course. Uh, Pari Lozawa, yeah, the four. Lozawa means translator. So the Sakyapas are uh, very proud to say that we are the followers of the four Lozawas. Lozawa meaning four translators. Uh, so if you add to it, like four great translators, you know, and that is the Dongmi Lozawa, Pari Lozawa, Mal Lozawa, and the lots of Rinchen Sangpo. These are the four lots of us that I heard. I mean, you know, even His Holiness the 41st, uh, one time he was, uh, I think, explaining about Sakyapa teaching and he mentioned this. So that kind of uh, uh, remained in my mind. Uh, so that means really uh, Sakyapa has a lot of teachings to follow. However, Sakyapa is known for uh, the teachings of uh, teachings known as the Lamte teaching, Lamte, right? Lam and Debu meaning path and result. So Lamte combine these two together, Lam and Debu meaning, um, yeah, path and result. I just want to keep it that way. And this teaching is actually a, a teaching uh, if we are to. Uh, recognize or acknowledge deity, then it is related to deity known as Hevajra. Hevajra deity. But then in it, then there are many others also, the, his followers. But the teaching itself is, uh, um, there are two different uh, traditions come, came out of this teaching uh, after introducing to Sakya. Uh, then it's called Sokshe and Lopshe. So that means that this Lamde teaching can be given to the crowd of uh, many people. That is called Sokshe, meaning Lamde teaching given to a crowd. Sok meaning, uh, what do you call, um, congregation, big congregation. And then the Lopshe meaning, I think, uh, another way of giving teaching, which is not to the crowd, but the teacher giving it to the student, just one student. So that had been, um, I think a tradition, particular in one subsector of Sakya, uh, quite famous for it, which is the Sarpa. Sarpa subsector is known for this Lopshe tradition. Of course, then if you give this teaching to one student, of course, it takes longer, right? Uh, so we do have both in existing these two uh, traditions, Lopshe and Sokshe. So, um, yeah, to, to complete the teaching or to receive the complete teaching of Lamde, uh, Sokshe will take like, a, depending on how elaborate it will be given, you know. Uh, but uh, I think the minimum is one month and a half if it is given in a traditional way in, in one of these uh, monasteries in India or Nepal. But sometimes, you know, teachers give that in, in foreign countries, which is uh, also, um, yeah, not, I mean, time-wise, it's not that uh, free. So therefore, you have to condense everything. So it's given in shorter time. Uh, so basically, yeah, this is the one, the Lamde. Lamde is the most famous in Sakya tradition. But then Sakya is also very, uh, what do you call, we also have this Vajra Yogini teaching, which is also quite uh, a special, uh, special kind of teaching in Sakya. Uh, from Sakya, it went to Gelupa also. Right? Gelupa is also very uh, good in the uh, Vajra Yogini teaching. Uh, but uh, Sakyas, you know, they themselves kept it, uh, um, I don't know why, very special uh, kind of uh, practice. And, uh, and, and, and particularly this, Vajra Yogini teaching is uh, practiced widely in Sakya. Uh, beside the Lamde, the Lamde is required for being a Sakya. You have to receive Lamde. You have to, 
uh, do the Hevajan retreat, uh, you know, it's like a compulsory, you know, like that, but not necessarily all people do it, but, um, you know, ideally speaking. But this Vajra Yogini teaching on practice and the, the retreat is done by more people in Sakya, and particularly now the Sakya great masters also require when they uh, give this uh, empowerment and teaching, they always require uh, the students to do the retreat. Uh, you know, the um, 400,000 times retreat, compulsory, but in, life, in, a, in a very short period of time, like within maybe three years after receiving this teaching and uh, empowerment. But then also the longer retreat, which is like a 37, uh, 3, 3 million, 3.7 million times uh, recitation of the uh, mantra of uh, Bhaja Yogini in lifetime. So I think many people do that these days. So now again, Lamde is the uh, most important teaching uh, of the specialty of Sakya school. Mm -hmm.